And Rob here, vlog number three. I just got back from a Sony PlayStation event and it was their spring showcase. So I got to see some really awesome games, specifically Canadian made games. So I was repping my Blue Jay attire because, well, they're my favorite Canadian team. So I had to rep them. And um, I'm just kidding, I usually wear my Jay's jersey every day if I can, so I just use this Canadian showcase as an excuse to wear it on camera. So I did that and I interviewed a uh, the co-creators of um, Sound Shapes, which was made right here in Toronto, and I got to play a few really cool games. Um, there's a few really cool games coming out soon, one of them being Retro City Rampage, um, that's made by Dune Bryan in Vancouver, and unfortunately he wasn't there, so I can interview him. Brian, where were you, dude? I waited. He wasn't there. And, um, but I got to meet him when I was in Vancouver, and that was really cool. He's actually a really cool dude, so I was disappointed that I, um, couldn't interview him for the vlog. But, um, oh well. Oh well, next time. And I got to play a couple games that I hadn't heard of, but I was really excited to um, jump into it. One of them was Lights, Camera, Party. And yes, it's another party game, and there are so many of them out there, I know. Um, but I had a lot of fun with this one because I was playing with Christine Chubb. Um, she, you might know her from Got Game on the Fan 590. She's actually a really cool girl, and uh, we had <laughs> some fun playing this game together. It was actually, I mean, it felt pretty good. It is it is a party game though, so it was a lot of fun and I had a lot of fun in that moment and I'm still, when I think about it, I think of how fun it is. Um, it, you just feel like if you don't have anybody over, I mean, I wouldn't play this game by myself and it just kind of feels like the same thing with all the games that I have for the Wii. I'm not going to pick them up really. Like I, I, I had fun with them, but I'm never going to play them again. That was that game. It was a lot of fun. I had fun with you, Christine. And uh, what else did I play? I played a game called Papo and Yo. And I want to say Papo y Yo because that would be the proper way to say it in Spanish. But um, it's supposed to be a mixture of a bunch of different languages because um, it's not supposed to be a specific language or in a specific country, even though it is um, based in South America or what seems to be South America. Um, you're playing as a young boy and, and the developer, it's a its a puzzle adventure game and the developer wanted to make this game, uh, it's basically like a reflection of his uh, childhood and um, he went through a lot as a child so he kind of imprinted his feelings into the game itself. So I only got to play a little bit of it but it was pretty cool so far and it's just, it's still in development so I'm not sure when we'll see it on store shelves but it was a pretty cool game I think um, you should definitely watch out for it it's called Papo and Yo what else did I play yeah so I just played a lot of sound shapes and I didn't um, there was a few other games that I, that I didn't have a chance to play but um, out of those I mean I'm pretty excited we will watch just a very short interview I did with uh, the co-creators of sound shapes they're pretty cool dudes. We had a few laughs. Also, it was kind of hot in there, so I feel a little bit sweaty. I'm with Shahan and John, and they're the co-creators of an amazing game that will be coming out soon called Sound Shapes, and it's made right here in Toronto. Gentlemen, it's a pleasure to meet both of you, I have to say, first off, because I've played the game, and it looks amazing. It sounds amazing. I'm just wondering how that starts. How do you start making a game like this? Do you start with a sound? Do you start with a graphic? Well, you, you start in a basement and um, you spend several years. Um, you know, basically we, we, all, we had this goal of combining uh, music and music creation and games and we, you know, it, we spent a lot of time trying out different ideas and basically, um, you know, experimenting, trial and error. And eventually, out of that long, long process, Sound Shapes came out of it. Well, I mean, how long did that actually take? Because we've seen Sound Shapes now at E3. It was last year, and everybody was talking about it. So everybody was excited about it then. What have you put into it since E3's debut? 
Uh, we put in a lot more uh, levels and content. I mean, one thing we really wanted to explore that we couldn't show at E3 was uh, all the different amounts of variety you can get in the game. So the game is organized into uh, different records, and each record has its own sort of musical style and uh, graphical style and also gameplay style. So like, you know, we, we recently announced Dead Mouse uh, is providing some original music in the game. There's some uh, ambient works. There's like, you know, more techno-y stuff. Um, and the graphic range ranges from like sort of cutesy to pixels to like um, sort of more realistic looking. In the level creator, you, you have access to all the things that we had when we were creating the game. So all the different creatures, all the different instruments, and basically you have that as a toolbox that you can then use to create your own musical world. And because everything in the world is contributing a small uh, part of the music, by, by creating that world, you've also created a song. Hey, you guys have put a lot of work into this. It looks amazingly polished. It sounds amazing. When are we going to be able to play it? You have to ask somebody who's wearing a suit here. We don't make, we don't make those kinds of decisions. <laughs> this no, year. No this idea. year. Sometime this year. A couple more things. I got to take a look at Little Big Planet carding, which looks so awesome. Um, it would have been even better, though, if Dan from United Front Games was around so we could have had a little chat about it. Um, but next time, I guess, Dan, I just want to thank everybody who came out to Van Expo Vancouver and said hi because... Um, it's always really great to meet people that watch reviews in the run and um, I'm just really appreciative of uh, you taking the time to do that. I also want to let you know that you can now watch the Canadian Video Game Awards online and I will post a link for it underneath this because um, it was so cool and it's so cool to um, not only see all the cool games that Canada makes, but to actually have gotten to meet a lot of the really cool people and influential people in this industry of ours, which is a pretty crazy one. So um, a lot of really amazing people and, and really cool characters. And um, I just feel really lucky to have um, been a part of it. So now I'm getting all full of myself and gushy, so I'll stop that. But I just wanted to thank you for watching and... Uh, I will actually be putting up another uh, vlog later this week because I will be attending um, the Ghost Recon event happening here in Toronto put on by Ubisoft, so I'm really excited about that too. I will talk to you soon.